Peace, family. Vicki and Dylan here. Thank you so much for tuning in to African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up and share the broadcast. Thank you so very much. Now, family, I want you to get ready to listen to this absolutely fascinating interview that the most elegant uh, South African foreign minister, uh, her lady minister, Naledi Pander, I love her so much, gives um, after ending um, the G20, which was recently held in India, and of course, the historic and epic BRIC summit that was held in South Africa, she sits down for an interview. And I want you to listen to how she responds to Ukraine being upset that they, were, they weren't invited and this notion, this arrogant notion that they should be prioritized over others. Watch this. You have a situation where one country that has a conflict then believes it should be invited. Uh, should we be inviting Mozambique, which has got terrorist attacks? Should we be inviting Mali, which has had a coup, or uh, Burkina Faso? If we don't invite them, why? Is it because they're African and so the conflicts they experience don't matter? So I think we have to be very measured. Uh, in how we approach uh, international organizations. and Okay, family, did you hear that? The way she dealt with that was so absolutely amazing. Ukraine just keeps taking losses after losses. They just losing all around. We know that South, uh, uh, Ukraine has shown such a disrespect for African leaders, such a disrespect for um, Africans who... Uh, were seeking a refuge to come through their borders. We just see the nonstop disrespect coming from Ukraine. And in such an elegant way, Lady Pandor just puts them right in their place. The nerve to believe that they should have been invited, the nerve to believe that their conflict, that they're allowing themselves to be proxy for the United States of America to fight what many believe to be an unjust just war with uh, Russia, you think that you're supposed to have priority over other African nations. All of the different battles, the coups and the uprisings that's taking place throughout the continent, no, uh, they're not getting this type of attention and God knows they're not getting billions of dollars from around the world and weapons. Didn't she so beautifully put them in their place? Let me tell you all something, beloved family. The powers that shouldn't be the colonialist, the former enslavers, the blood suckers of the poor, please know they recognize that their time is up, but don't think for one second that they're going to go out quietly. Don't think they're going to give up such power and such privilege and such resources without a fight. So I want you to be very clear about that because there's going to be more pushback coming very likely at a theater near you. Are y'all hearing me? But please know it's our time. Please know as I continue to say that there's a changing of the guards and there's a changing of the gods and goddesses. That means that not only are there visible changes in the government and the nations on earth, but the unseen government, the divine realm is assisting us. Yes, indeed. I'm a spiritual teacher and I teach about the parody and the connection between the seen and unseen realms. In fact, if you want to be a part of that, be sure to join my spiritual schools. Go to my website at vickiplanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I planet.com. The link should be below. I can't wait to see you again.